Guido coming at you with a Tactics Talk. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I do appreciate it. On this episode, I've got myself in my T3485M Premium Tier 6 Russian Medium Tank. It's a pretty good Russian tank, loaded into Overlord. You know, I saved this game because it ended up being pretty good. I was number one on the experience and about number four on the damage. But when I came out of the game, I remember thinking, man, I don't feel like I really did much in that game. I'm surprised at the result as far as where I was. So I saved the game, thought I'd think about it, watch it a couple times, and it just had some kind of interesting thoughts go through my mind as I was watching it and considering the game. Because it all revolved around the fact that I really didn't feel like I had done a whole lot. I was only fourth in damage, and the experience isn't amazing, but it was enough to be number one. And it struck me as I watched this that even in games where you don't feel like you've done a whole bunch, if you are carefully aggressive, especially as you're learning and you are in the mid-tiers, kind of like this is, this is moving towards high tiers because there's some tier 8s here, but I'm obviously driving a mid-tier tank. Around tier 6, 7, if you are carefully aggressive as you're learning this game, only good things are going to happen. You're going to get pretty good at this game pretty fast, and then you can start working on the, the more complicated nuances for the rest of the game. So we'll talk about it as we go. I've loaded in here to Overlord and I avoided going to the beach. So lesson number one, <laughs> it should be obvious for most. See that whole western side of the map that is down in that cliff, off the cliff, where it's all very sandy and there's water. You know, the, the ocean, the sea, the English Channel. Don't go there. It should go without saying, but people continue to do so. It is not a great flanking lane. You take yourself out of the game for a very long time. And that's part of what I'm talking about when I'm saying carefully aggressive. Because you'll see that I come up to that corner there. I take a look. We have a couple guys already in that road. Let's just pause it to talk about this. How do I know there's not a lot of people here? Well, we've got guys that have already pushed into this road. They've topped here a couple times. They'd have seen anybody as they came across that was stacking up here. There's just really nobody here. Even though there's that many tanks over on the enemy team left, for the moment, there's not a lot of people there. So let's find out where they are. Carefully aggressive, I use bushes and I come up, look for a free shot, some damage, and I also get some spots. I'm, all right, well, there's the T20. Hellcat's back. <clears throat> T20's back. 3045 might be up along this ridge somewhere. So much for the Hellcat. And all, the, all of a sudden, we've got 782 spotting damage. Why? Because I was carefully aggressive. Look how many guys are still in the back. Now the Udes, okay, I get it. It's a Udes. But pretty quickly he's going to probably have to push up because this enemy team is just really on its back foot. There's some more spotting damage. That one surprised me that nobody else could see it because he was spotted as I came up. So whoever was actually spotting him initially must have backed out to where I was the only guy seeing him when that last damage went in. But I'll take it, that gets me up to 825. So I'm just kind of working along this ridge. And this is a lot of where I started to get the idea or the feeling that I don't feel like I'm really doing anything. When's the last time I gunshot? Quite a long time ago. So I'm just kind of finding out, wow, these guys are really just camping in the back. We've already killed three. They've got some TDs that are probably hanging back and two artillery. So we're really going to have to hunt these guys down. And it looks like at least one of them has gone down on two onto the beach and we've got one, two, three, four of our guys back in the southwest corner. One of them even died. Oh, there's a couple more of them. So that looks like to be most of them minus the artillery and I still haven't fired. Right? So probably being a little too carefully aggressive. I'll tell you the thing I was concerned about was getting nuked by the ISU who's, who I finally realized was down there. So he's not a problem. Or by the stair which is I was expecting one of those two TPs to be back in this area looking to shoot guys doing what I just did right there. So we got a T20 kind of on the back slope behind that bunker. I'm trying to get a shot on him. And the artillery finds me and that puts 80. That was my first shot in quite a long time. Whenever I'm playing a game and I have that internal clock and it's been that long since I fired, I start to I don't want to say get antsy, but I start to realize that, hey man, you're not contributing to what's going on here in this game. If all you're doing is rocking back and forth and peeking and poking and not getting any shots and not creating any assist damage out of all of that, then you're really not doing anything for your team. To finally find some targets, take him down. In the back of my mind is the stare over there. I just don't want to get machine gunned by him. 
but probably the better idea would have been to get out of this central slope area and gone and helped my buddies push on that side. But I'm still just kind of futzing around in the middle. Now I finally get brave, decide to push, but I have very cleverly sandwiched myself between several of the enemy tanks. So I just choose to shoot and run. Unfortunately, he gets my engine, so now I'm nice and slow. And I've still got 24 seconds before I can repair it. Some more spotting damage. Naturally, the artillery is going to be nearly reloaded. Somehow I missed that. I don't even know if I totally missed it or it went through. Did it go through the opening? I don't know. In any event, it didn't do any damage, and he was reloaded pretty quickly. I'm stunned, but he's... Low SA. I mean, he's just... I guess he has... I don't understand that. Why he didn't just drive down and try to get in cover. But thank you for that, because there's some farming damage that I got. That brings me up to 925, but kind of ridiculous, right? The end of the game. Not a whole bunch going on. Somewhere near, I realize I have my repair kit back up. I'm tired of crawling along. Anytime your tank feels sluggish, make sure you check all that stuff. Especially if you haven't been paying attention, you can't figure out why your tank's not driving well. Lots of possibilities, your driver, your engine, being stunned, all three of those possibilities. I take a hit from the stair, just sort of YOLOing in on this guy. Alright, so I'm going to take advantage of the stun to move forward. I saw that artillery shell go in there. He's stunned, so I'm going to move forward. That's going to make his aiming a little more difficult, his maneuver a little more difficult. You can see that as he's stunned, he's having a hard time getting that thing moving. He's trying to get his turret on me. DPM on this tank is fantastic. I was hoping I could take one more hit. It was possible he could kill me right there. But I was able to get that shot before he got his turret on and killed me. So I get 1,461 damage, 1,334 spotted, and I end up with three kills. Bottom tier, medium. In a game where I felt like I didn't do a whole lot. So obviously, it may sound like humble bragging. That's not really the point. The, the overall arching point of all of this is that, quite honestly, at mid-tiers, if you're carefully aggressive, it doesn't take a whole lot to be in the top half of the experience and damage board, and it doesn't take a whole lot much more to be in the top third which is going to make your grinding easier. It's going to make you feel better about your stats. It's going to make the stats in your tanks better. But more importantly, it's going to bring up your win rate and make you a more effective part of your team. So remember, guys, careful aggression, and then even on some of these where you didn't feel like you did much, you probably did enough to help your team win. All right. Hope you like what you saw. Hope you like what you heard and learned something. If you did, make sure you subscribe, and we will see you.